anything you have to say. Is this the face of evil? Anything you want to say, why no. you do it? Did this 20-year-old man commit one of the most savage and senseless crimes New York has ever seen? The assault and murder for which he's been arrested beyond brutal. And now... Who is it? It's Chris Hansen. Crime Watch Daily is on the ground, searching for answers from the people who should know the accused killer best. His own parents. I know he's been accused of this crime, and I wanted to get some perspective from his family. All right, just come in. These are the last haunting images of Karina Vetrano captured on a security camera just minutes before she was murdered on a remote jogging trail. Crime Watch Daily was the first to bring you this exclusive video of that fateful August 2nd, a day Karina's father, Phil, will never forget. What strikes me out of all these pictures is her incredible zest for life. There was so much in her, and she achieved so much, and she would have achieved so much more. The, the sky was the limit. Karina, described by friends and family as the life of the party, was found dead along this jogging trail near JFK Airport. She had been dragged into the tall weeds and strangled. Left face down, Karina's dad usually ran with her, but he was nursing a back injury that terrible day. Does that haunt you a little bit? Of course it does. Shortly after the shocking murder, New York Chief of Detectives Robert Boyce sat down with me for his first national interview to discuss the case. Give me a sense for the injuries Karina suffered. Facial injuries. Uh, she also had bruising on her body. What does that tell you? She fought not to go into those weights. At the time, Boyce told me they had a DNA profile of the killer based on samples found on Karina's back, under her fingernails, and on her cell phone. And yet, it doesn't hit on any database. No. It was a lack of answers Karina's father, Phil, found nearly unbearable, especially considering his role in the case. You found your daughter. I did. With the help of the PD. As a parent, mm -hmm. I have a hard time even getting my arms around that. I think as a parent, you would rather you find your child than someone else. It's the last act of protection you can give your child. After the murder, police did release this sketch of a man in a wool cap who was in the location around the time Karina was killed. But still, nothing. This is going to be seen around the country. What message do you have for people? We're looking for a break. We need a break in the case. Now, finally, that break has come. This is a very good day for justice in New York City. Yesterday evening, Chanel Lewis, a 20-year-old male who resides in East New York, Brooklyn, was taken into custody in connection with the August 2nd, 2016 murder of Karina Petrano. As it turns out, when police were going back through their files, they uncovered a 911 call from three months before the murder. Reports of the same man, Chanel Lewis, lurking suspiciously near the area Karina was killed. In fact, the original 911 call came from one of the investigators working the case, who, after remembering the incident, helped track Lewis down to his mother's house and bring him in for questioning. We spoke to him um, at that night. That was Thursday night. Uh, he freely gave a buckle swab of his DNA to us. Within two days, we had a hit. You got to remember, Karina helped us identify this person. She had the DNA under her nails. She had touched DNA on her, on her back, and it was more DNA on the cell phone. But even without the DNA match, it seems police had enough to make an arrest. Lewis was interviewed by detectives and made detailed incriminating statements and admissions. Charges are now pending. But do police really have the right man? The suspect's sister says no, telling reporters, I think Hobbs framed him because he's a black person. They couldn't find anyone else to pin this on, so they pinned it on my brother. But police remain resolute, saying Lewis told them in a videotaped confession that he was out walking and in a, quote, bad mood when he came across Karina and snapped. We don't believe he knew her at all. It appears to be a chance encounter. But we wanted to understand how a young man with no previous criminal history could have suddenly done what he's accused of. Who is it? It's Chris Hansen. Who is Chris I'm a, a reporter for Crime Watch Daily. It's a television show. And I'm looking for Chanel's mom. What do you want? 
Well, I would like to talk to you about your son. Right away, Chanel's mom made it clear she had little to say about her son anyway. I do not want to speak to you. I wish you would get the hell off of the man property. I know this is a difficult time. I, I can only imagine. I don't want to speak to you. But you see what I'm getting at. I think it's important to know both sides of the story. All right, thank you for your time. There would be no statement from the mom with whom he lived most recently. So then we went looking for the father. And before long... Hi, Richard. Hello. I'm Chris Hansen with Crime Watch Daily. It's a television show. And we're working on a story on Chanel, and I wanted to Let's talk to you. What is it about him? I just want to ask you. I don't know. I mean, I know he's been accused of this crime, and I wanted to get some perspective from his family, and we came to talk to you to hear what you had to say. Just come in and Okay. To our surprise, Chanel's dad invited us inside. But as our cameras got into position, what he had to say stood in stark contrast to the crime for which Chanel has been accused. I was disguising him as a, a wonderful young man. A wonderful in what way? Wonderful in just, just a good guy. Just a good guy. But reports say otherwise. Police sources say that five years earlier, when Chanel was just 15, he allegedly said he wanted to bring a knife to school to, quote, stab all the girls. Why would he lash out? When you said lash out, what do you mean? Attack Karina Vitrano. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? I don't think he would have. You don't I, think he did? I don't think he did it. But how did his DNA get on her fingernails, her phone, and her neck? Oh, that what? He had no answer to that other than to stick by his son. Do you think your son is capable of murder? Sir, I don't see how he would have. Was your son mentally disturbed? I'm not answering any further. And that's where Chanel's father cut the interview. As for Karina's parents, at Lewis's arraignment, Karina's mother didn't hold back, shouting, he's a demon, he's a demon. He can burn in hell. Now your nightmare begins. For now, Chanel Lewis has been charged with second degree murder, is being held without bail, and according to police, faces 25 years to life behind bars.